Welcome back to BSPN. Please like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when our videos go live. Keep those comments, those critiques coming so that we know what kind of content you want to see. And enjoy our wrap up of the Arnold Classic. In pictures, and I know you can't see in pictures, so look through the pictures. Um, but I wanted to kind of marry that what I saw in person with what you can actually see in the photos, uh, so that you can kind of get an idea of where the judging uh, took place. You know what, why the results played out the way they did, that kind of thing. So I right, pinned the link for Katie's Conquer the Stage tickets because we have five left. So if you haven't gotten yours. You better go do that because we only have five and then we're done, sold out, completely gone. So if you haven't gotten your ticket yet, you need to. Um, and actually, three of the ladies that were at the Arnold Classic in bikini will be speaking at this year's Cuties Conquering the Stage. So you better be there. <laughs> Yay, so psyched for this. Yes, I've been shamelessly looking forward to this all day. I love it. I love it. What was the best moment for you this weekend? The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually going to talk a little bit about the Arnold uh, itself while everybody's getting logged on here. I might as well do that right now uh, because it was a very different kind of Arnold classic. Uh, obviously, there was no expo. Um, it was just the, you know, the four divisions. Uh, usually it's a lot more. <laughs> um, so it's, it, it's usually, you know, a four day weekend, basically. And it was not like that this year at all, which to be honest with you, I didn't mind. Um, I'm a fan of the sport first. Before I was ever a competitor, I was a fan. So um, I actually really enjoyed just focusing on the competition. Um, you know, there's parts of the expo that I like, but a lot of it I just really wasn't wasn't there for that. I was there for the actual show itself. So, um, you know, th this weekend I actually really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed having the time to focus on the competition itself, you know. Um, and it was it was it was weird because there weren't a ton of people. You know, usually there's a ton of people running around all over the place, and it wasn't like that at all, obviously. So it was weird in that regard, but it was cool at the same time. It was kind of fun because it was just you know the industry people that you that you see at every show kind of thing. Um, so we had a good time, and uh, I enjoyed it, and I'm really glad that they made it happen, regardless of the circumstances. Uh, there was you know a few moments where you know if you guys didn't see that see Whitney Jones actually tested positive for COVID, so she had to leave and was not able to compete. Um, I believe she was the only competitor that actually tested positive. They did have to test all of the athletes. Um, Arnold was there, but anytime you saw him, he had a mask on when he was around other people. It was only when he was by himself that he took his mask off, like when he walked on stage and things like that. So, um, so it was a little, little weird in that regard, but it was still pretty cool. It's still pretty cool to have the, the whole thing go off the way that it did. Um, there was a relatively large attendance, um, you know, not, again, not like normal years, but, still good good crowd participation and you know the people that really are diehards of the sport you know so it was, it was actually really a, a really cool experience so um i kind of wanted to talk a little bit about each of these girls um but really focus mostly on the top three because that's where the majority of the judging took place you know when it comes to the bikini division here so um you know the the two that were towards the the end of the pack were gabrielle and priscilla which i assumed that was going to happen you know they still looked great now don't get me wrong none of these girls looked bad these are the top 10 athletes in the world basically at this point so it's not like they looked bad by any stretch of the imagination but um uh priscilla was just a little bit soft in her lower half just like she was in, in um in arizona same critiques that we have from arizona we have here uh she just needs to balance her body out a little bit more um gabrielle looked better than she has in some of her looks this year uh but she's still she's a little bit it's almost like she's a little leg heavy now um if that makes sense she needs to kind of and i'll pull up her pictures real quick she needs to kind of redo her whole um, her whole back shot really it's it's just a little bit too much legs at this point she's kind of pulled that down a little and balance herself out a little bit more um, holy crap missed the Whitney Jones news hopefully you get to text negative soon is able to be, oh yeah I think I mean I know she's quarantining and stuff like that so she doesn't have that issue again going into the Olympia you know um, and also the Olympia I think will have different kind of regulations and restrictions too, being that it's in Florida versus Ohio you know there's gonna be some different things going on that kind of thing um, so I, again, I don't think um, 
I don't think Gabby looked bad. I just think she needs to work on, for me, I, what I look at when I see her back shot is I see a lot of legs. You know what I mean? And especially with wellness and things like that, we got to be careful of that. Um, you got to make sure that it's really more of a balance from the back. Um, so that's what I saw with Gabby. Uh, but again, not a bad look, just needs to kind of work on that a little bit, tweak that a little bit. Um, and as we move our way up to um, Jordane, I know one of the things that, that hindered Jordane was just that the the actual posing itself, and this this happened to a few of the girls too, like because the they were up on that po that podium, and the podium doesn't doesn't give you room to do your walks and things like that. So I believe that's one of the things that kind of hindered her here. She wasn't able to get her normal sass going and things like that. But she's another one. She needs to pull her legs down. She, um, she just wasn't quite there yet. Um, her legs need to come down a little bit more uh, from the from the back specifically. Uh, she has actually increased her balance quite a bit in her upper body, which I was very happy to see. Uh, when you look at her from the front, you know, her her upper body used to be a little bit smaller. Now she's got, she's grown quite a bit in her upper body, which looks really good. Um, but she just needs to come down another few pounds before Olympia to really bring that lower half in tight enough. Um, so that was Jordan. And then as we move up to... Um, Jasmine next, same thing with Jasmine. So Jasmine just needs to come down a few more pounds. Um, you know, you guys know she's really open about the fact she has issues with endometriosis and, and flare ups and things like that. So she was going through a flare up going into the show um, and just wasn't able to peel off enough of the water going into the show. But now she has time between now and Olympia to kind of release some of that too. So as long as she comes in a few more pounds tighter, she's gonna be all right. Um, it's just conditioning for, for Jasmine more than anything else. Everything else was on point. Um, her posing and presentation was amazing. Um, Love the new red suit on her, the hair. She did extensions a little bit into her, her natural curls, uh, which came off really, really nice on her frame. Just needs to pull that conditioning down. Pull that conditioning in a little bit more. Um, and then she'll be right on. Back pose was the best I've ever seen her back pose. Just needs to be tighter, right? Um, then as we go to Brina. For Brina, I believe this was actually her best physique that look that I've seen on her in a very long time. All year, this is her best physique look that she's had all year. Um, she did something, now I wanted to mention this because typically I'm not a fan of this, but it worked really well for her. She pulled a piece of hair down in between her lat, her uh, chest and her shoulder. And typically I don't like that uh, because what it does is it kind of blocks off that shape there and you can't see the V into her waistline. But in her scenario, it actually really helped her. I felt like it actually made her waistline look smaller. So I think that actually was a really good move in that regard. Uh, it made her look a lot more streamlined. She is muscular up top. So by covering a little bit of that muscle up, that actually really helped to balance her body out. Um, now, and I told her this in, in person too, I wasn't a fan of the suit color. Um, great suit cut, love the suit cut, but I'd like to see her back in yellow. That's just my personal opinion. She may not have gotten that feedback from the, from the judges, but I personally like her in the yellow better than this, but I do like this suit cut better than her yellow one. So if she can find a balance between those two, um, I think that that would be really good. And I think this might be the first time that I've seen her in curls in a very long time with her hair. Uh, but it looked really, really nice on her. I really liked this. Overall, I mean, Brina always has an amazing stage presence regardless of what she does on stage. Um, so overall, this is probably her best look that I've seen uh, from her the whole year. Uh, and I, I kept telling her, I know she's going into off season now. I said, but she needs to not do that. But it's her, on her, it's, it's her life. I'm not going to make her compete more. <laughs> but I just told him, like, you're really like hitting your stride right now, you know? Uh, but I get it. I get it. It's been a long, hard season for her. Um, and for her, this was a massive, massive win. So this was a really good look for her, placing sixth and getting into that hardware spot. Um, then as we move up to Romina, uh, Romina was just a little bit soft in comparison to what she normally is. Um, specifically in the waistline, the waistline was a little bit watery for me when I was watching her. She wasn't super tight through the hamstrings, needed to come in a little bit tighter here. Um, also looks like she changed her proposing a little bit, uh, which I do think she needed to do. She was getting too broad up top, so she is kind of trying to fix that kind of thing as well. Um, you know, this probably wasn't the best I've seen Romina, but I think she can also bring it in a little bit tighter as she goes into Olympia, uh, and, and probably do very, very well because she still had some nice pop to her glutes. She still had a great frame, all of that. She, again, she's just another one that just needed to be just a little bit tighter. You know, just a little, um, overall not a bad look for her though. Just needs to bring that waistline in. Um, then we get up to Ashley. So Ashley Cotwell start end up in fourth. 
Um, for me, this was not the best I've seen Ashley look. Uh, she looked a little bit over dieted through, through the waistline specifically. Her rib cage kind of caved in there. Um, and her, her legs looked depleted. She looked depleted through her legs in the back. Um, when you look at her back pose, you can actually see, I don't know how to describe this exactly, um, but her glutes look like the skin was, wasn't quite filled out, wasn't quite popped. Uh, that looks depleted to me. Um, the lighting at this show, we're going to go into this as we go into these top three girls. The lighting at this show was harsh, harsh, harsh shadows everywhere. So if you had anything wrong with your physique, it was magnified by a hundred times. Um, and you know, this just magnified the fact that Ashley looked a little depleted. Um, also, you can see the fact she looked a little depleted by her shoulders as well. She's always been one who needs to fill her upper body out. And the fact she was already a little bit depleted on top of that made her upper body kind of go away too. So this was not a great look for Ashley. Still placed fourth, which is great. That's awesome. But she needs to fill back out or do something between now and Olympia to really kind of pop those muscles again. Because she just looked like she was kind of fading away a little. Um... So that was Ashley. So that was fourth. And then we get up into our top three. So the top three were very tight through prejudging and through finals. Um, starting, you know, after prejudging, I had it how it ended up playing out. I had Jennifer in first. I had um, Issa in second. I had Laurelie in third. Um, I really felt like it was a battle between Jennifer and Issa. Uh, Laura Lee, while she looked great, uh, she was a little bit too lean, uh, a little bit too hard. Um, and she's actually done a very good job of rebalancing out her glutes, uh, but they're still, to me, they're just a little, they're just a little bit too big for her frame. Just a little. And this is hard because I know if they try to fill her back out, that's going to make her look, her glutes look even bigger. You know what I mean? So it's a really tough balancing act right there for her right now. Um, from what I've seen from her this year, I think this was probably the best I've seen her look so far. Uh, but she is a little bit too hard. She is a little bit too lean. So they got to make a few adjustments going into Olympia to try to fill her back out without making her glutes look like they're overpowering again. Because I think she was right on that line uh, where they were just a touch too big, but she could get away with it. But if you fill back out, then they're going to be too big again. You know, so she's in she's in that weird spot. So we'll see what, she, what they do going into Olympia to try to rectify this a little bit for her. Um, again, not a, not a bad package by any stretch of the imagination. This is actually probably the best look she's had all year. Uh, but if she wants to win an Olympia title, she's going to have to make a few adjustments to that. Um, which I know that's, that's the goal going in, right? Um, can you please be the official bikini Arnold commentator? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, sh sh tell somebody, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so then we had, we're going to go into Issa, and then I'm going to tell you why I, like, why I had these girls in this, in this position to begin with. We're going to go into Issa next. Um, so Issa, I could tell, was a little bit uncomfortable on stage. Um, her legs look really tiny in comparison. Yes, they do. Laura Lee's. Yes, correct. Um, Lee, Issa looked a little uncomfortable, and the reason why, uh, we're working on it, right, Jamaica, we're working on that. <laughs> um, and then the reason why is her front pose. Uh, you can tell she has gotten critiques that she needs to stop flaring so much in her upper body and her front pose. All of these girls have gotten this critique. They don't want to see that. They don't want to see that pose. They, and specifically, they don't want to see an X frame in bikini. They want to see an S frame from your shoulders into your waistline to your, to your glutes. They don't want to see those pulled out lats. And that's always how Issa has posed. And that's how her shape really shows very, very well. You know, so here I could tell she was trying to pull that back down in and she wasn't really comfortable with it. Um, I know the commentator kind of sucked. <laughs> the first time I literally watched the show on mute, I never cringed so much. Oh no. See, I didn't listen to the live stream. I'm going to have to go back and watch it or something like that and just see what they said. <laughs> oh boy. Um, so, so Issa like I said, you could tell she was a little uncomfortable. You could tell she was a little uncomfortable in that front pose. She wasn't quite confident with it. Um, and to me, it just made her look bottom heavy and her upper body just kind of disappeared a little bit. Um, especially when her husband, oh yeah, I, I did hear about that one, about when, when Steve lost. Yes. The commentator was saying you need to flare your lats, etc. And I kept rolling my eyes. Yeah, no, no, no. See, this is exactly what 
you got you, this is why you have to stay up with the with the trends the sport because they don't want to see you flare your lats at all no lat flares they want you to show your shape and you can see i mean if you go back and i'll do this when i edit this and put it on youtube i'll put her pictures from tampa next to her pictures here at the arnold and you'll see the difference in her pose you'll see the difference in her front pose um and again she just doesn't look quite confident in this yet um and it just doesn't I mean, again, she looked, she looks better when she flares her lats out, but they have specifically said they don't want to see that specifically have said they don't want to see that. So she had to do it this way. Um, I agree. The commentator was a bomb, a, a bomb at all. Ooh, they weren't knowledgeable or helpful and gave her incorrect information. Well, that's just too bad. I'm gonna have to go back and listen to that. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, then when you turn around to the back, she actually looks great from the back, but she's a little flat. She's a little bit flat from the back. Um, she did come back better at finals. She filled out for finals. She did come back looking better. So when I saw her at finals, that was when I was like, Ooh, she could give Jen a run for her money right now because she's definitely filled out. It was close. It was very, very close. Um, it was bad. Like I love the people, but there was a lot of old school mentalities that literally went against everything that was learned this year in the sport. So for newer competitors, they will be confused. Oh boy. Okay. Well, that's why you can listen to me. <laughs> I'll clear things up. <laughs> right I'll clear it all up for you right now okay um but yeah when you look at Issa from the back she doesn't look bad from the back at all but you can see she's just a little bit flat here just a little bit flat and again when she came back for her finals she had filled out she looked a whole lot better uh, when she came back for finals um uh, Becky Clausen and James tried to professionally clean it up on some IG stories oh I'll have to go look at that I'll have to go pay it. I didn't see that at all um anyway so um, back to this. So yeah, so from the, I felt in, in the morning, I felt Jen had it like no problem because um, Jen also changed her posing up. Um, we're going to go to her, her pictures right now. So Jen also changed her posing up, also was told not to pull completely frontwards uh, for her. And in Jen's scenario, I think this actually played out very, very well for her. One of my critiques for her this this year has been that her shoulders kind of disappeared with her pulling herself more to the side versus so straight on with her upper body her shoulder filled back out and she was so much better balanced from top to bottom and I actually told her this I mean it, it was just a better it was an overall a better look for her in this front pose this new front pose so this was really a good call on this on this regard and from the back she was nice and full as well um and I think she mentioned something about she was a little soft in the morning. She came back a little tighter, so that was helpful. But um, really, I mean, when I saw her in the morning, I really thought she had it in the morning, regardless. Do um, you know if you can watch the show now? I wasn't able to watch. I don't know. I haven't watched it. So I don't know if it's, I, I would assume they're probably going to have it available or on YouTube or something. But I don't know. I haven't watched it since the show. I haven't had time. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, and then at night, I felt like Jen came back better at night. Um, so did Issa, but so did Jen. So, you know, in my opinion, I think that Jen won pre-judging. I think that she won finals as well. And I do think a lot of the judges are split because it was only a one point difference. Um, but when I was watching it, I saw Jen for, in first. Now I'm going to go into the reason why. Okay. So I've just mentioned this all through photos and what you can see in photos. Now what you couldn't see, you might be able to see this on the, on the live stream. I don't know. I, I didn't watch the live stream, but I could see this in person. When they started moving, when they started walking to the back, Jen won it, hands down. Because both Laura Lee and Issa were just a little bit flat in the morning. So because this lighting was so hard, you saw the skin start to drop a little bit in their lower, in their hamstrings underneath their glutes. You saw it. Because of the lighting. If the lighting was straight on like a normal show, you might not have seen it quite so hard like that, but it was like, my, my eye just automatically went to that. Like Jen was completely filled out from her glutes all the way through her hamstrings and everything, nothing dropped. Both Laura Lee and Issa, that happened to both of them. They dropped just a little bit as they started walking to the back. Now you can't really see that in the photos, but you can. So I went and searched through these pictures um, and I'm going to try and see if you guys are on your computers or something like that and you want to go onto NPC News Online, I'm going to tell you exactly where you can see this, okay? Um, so if I'm looking at Jen's photos right now. I'm going to look at the first page of her photos, the very last photo on that page 
where she's kicking her glutes off to the side right before she's about to walk, okay? When you look at that, you see a nice full round glute right there. Perfect, that's exactly what you wanna see, okay? So if you're looking on FPC News Online right now, that's the picture that you, that you wanna look at. It's the first page of her photos, the very last picture where she's kicking her glute off to the side before she's about to walk, okay? Now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back to Issa. So second page of Issa's pictures on NPC News Online, the very first picture right there, you'll see her starting to walk. Look at her right glute. There is a little bit of skin underneath there. Just a little bit of skin, it's a skin fold right underneath her glute, like going into her hamstring. The very first photo on the second page of Issa's pictures, okay? Then we're gonna go to Laura Lee. Second page of photos, you go down to the third line of photos and she's starting to kick her glute off to the side as she's starting her walk to the back and you see that line of skin. Now she's got quite a few of these. There's, let's see, one, two, three, four, four. Yep, there's four photos right in a row where she's kicking her glute from side to side and you see a little fold of skin underneath her glutes. That's your indicator right there that she's flat. And if it wasn't this lighting here at this show, you probably wouldn't be able to see that, right? That right there, when I was watching it live, is why I had Jen Dorian first the whole time. Now, if you go back and you look, start looking at their photos from finals, Laura Lee still has that little bit of skin right there, and Issa does not, because Issa filled back out going into finals but Jen tightened up, that was enough for Jen, right? Now the lighting's a little bit different in finals. You'll see if you go into their photos and you go towards the last pages, last few pages, it's more bright towards the back because they had different lighting for finals than they did for, for pre-judging. But that right there is why when I was sitting in the audience watching this was like, that's why Jen won it, right there. It's such a tiny thing to notice. Yeah, it is, yep. Um, so I was on pre-judging photos for that question. For the, are you on pre-judging finals? So I was on pre-judging photos. But if you go and you look at the finals photos, like I said, the same thing. Jen has no skin underneath. Um, Issa, at that point at finals, has no skin underneath. Laura Lee does. Okay. So the this is the one thing that I could point to and say this is why the judges gave them this feedback. Right. This is why they were told such and such. Now you can see it. That in the photos you can see it. Okay. Can't wait for Olympia, I know. So now here's the thing. These girls were all really tight. You know, it's not like, it's not like it was a like standout, yes, this girl won this, hands down. No, it was not like that. It's a one point difference between uh, Jen and Issa. So that means going into Olympia, these girls gotta be on point. Cause they're gonna have more girls coming into this lineup that were not here at the Arnold either, right? What is your YouTube channel so I can see the pics in your analysis? It's actually in my drop down box here on my, in my bio. If you are the drop down the link tree, you can go through my YouTube channel there and you can subscribe there. Turn on notifications because what I'll do is after I finish up the, these these wrap ups here with you guys live, I take these photo take these and put photos and videos with it and added it together and put it up on YouTube so you can see it. Are there other places you can notice not being filled out? I mean, I can. I see it, but this is just something I can really point right at and so that you guys can see it. You know what I mean? Like, unless you study this stuff like I do, and not very many people study this stuff like I do, <laughs> you're not gonna you're not gonna see this stuff. That's why I was looking and searching through this stuff to see if there was something that I could point to and say, here you go, here it is, right here. This is why, right here. Um, and you know, thankfully. The lighting at this at this show is so hard that it actually showed that stuff. Sometimes you can't see that in the photos. Most of the time, you can't see that in the photos. Um, that's why I, I try to emphasize that it's totally different when you're watching it live versus when you are looking at pictures. You know, I, I like to do the analysis and stuff from pictures and stuff, but it's not it's not true to it's not true to real life. Real life watching a show is different. It just is. It's just different. Um, I can't wait to see Diraj in the mix. Yes, your eyes are going. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it was again to me. It was pretty clear. To me, it was pretty clear what the what the placings were. 
um, who, who was supposed to be placed where, that kind of thing. Um, and coming out of a show like this really shows you what you need to pay attention to going into the Olympia. You have to be full. You have to be tight, but you have to be full. You cannot come in depleted. You cannot come in too lean. Um, everything's got to be on point. The posing, hair and makeup, everything. It's got to be on point. 100% has to be on point because there's no room for error. There's zero room for error, error, none, right? Posing, guys, pay attention to these posing changes. These posing changes are huge. Issa has never posed how she posed in this show. There's a reason. They don't just automatically go and change their poses if they're not, if they're, there's nothing wrong with them. They change them because they're told to. They change them because of criteria that the judges want them to stick to. That's why I tell you guys, go get your feedback from the judges. Go get your feedback. It would be silly to not do that. It would be so silly not to do that. They started really penalizing the lap flare last year. And they're making sure that these top girls are setting an example. And this was really where I was going to stop our Arnold Classic wrap up, but we had a lot of people on live with us when we actually filmed this on Instagram and they had watched the live webcast of the Arnold and just had a lot of questions, wanted some clarity when it came to some of the things that were said on commentary. So we kept it rolling. I clarified a few things and uh, we had some fun. Stick around. Maybe you'll learn a thing or two and maybe even laugh a little too. Enjoy. Any questions for tonight? Facts, feedback straight from the horse's mouth after I knew my placing last show, I did my other side for finals and asked Tyler during during his feedback which side and he gave great feedback. Yeah. Please watch the live stream. <laughs> I uh I don't know if I, I don't know if I really need to, to be honest with you. I, I probably will at some point. I'll have it going like while I'm doing I, that's what I do when I'm when I'm training. I'll I'll have all I have all these bodybuilding podcasts and stuff that just roll on on my uh training days and stuff so i'll probably do something like that when it's uh, when i go take a look at it when i go to train tomorrow or something um any other questions about the arnold though yeah it was a great weekend it was a lot of a lot of fun don't you'll be disappointed just go watch becky's and james's stories you'll be able to put it all together i'll have to do that um why are the women's prizes so low women's prizes are are actually pretty good um Prize money is directly in relation to how much money they bring into the sport. So um, if you want a good eye roll session, go watch the live stream. Oh boy. I don't know if I should do that. I'm going to start getting mad. <laughs> like, I Sometimes I listen to these like these podcasts where they do these wrap ups and stuff. And I'm like, you have no idea what you're talking about. And I like yell at my YouTube. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. You're wrong. No, you're wrong. <laughs> I probably will get mad. Oh boy. I don't know. Yeah, that's unfortunate. They need to, they, you know, unfortunately, I, and I love actually, I actually love Amanda Latona or Kuklo or whatever. Uh, I think she goes by Latona still, but um, she hasn't competed actively for years. So, you know, she doesn't really keep up with the women's side of the sport as much. Um, you need to have people that understand what's going on, you know? Um, I think the male commentator, you were, you will, I was irritated and I muted it. It's too funny. I think the male commentator couldn't stop staring at Laura Lee's glutes. That's funny. Well, he's a dude. Who doesn't, right? Um, you should have been commentating. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you know, and, and, and the men are really, um, honest most of the time that they don't know what they're looking at. That's, that's the general consensus. I talked to these guys and like, like when I did commentary for, um, the DC pro-am, they, they told me straight up beforehand, they were like, I don't know, we don't really know what we're looking at. So we're just going to defer to you and ask you questions. You know what I mean? Which I'm totally fine with, you know, this is just something that I, that I am very particular about. <laughs> yes. They should hire you as commentator. Thank you guys. Well, you know what? Go petition for me, right? <laughs> Go petition for me. <laughs> I couldn't stop staring at her glutes. I know, right? Yeah, L Laura Lee is a gorgeous girl. I mean, regardless of what you uh, what you think she where she should land in competition and things like that, she's a gorgeous girl, head to toe. So, um, yeah, she's always gonna. She was again. She's always been a top top competitor since she hit the pro league. You know, and she's gonna continue to be up there. They were actually honest and asked what they 
should be looking for when the answer was lat flare and flexing glutes and hamstrings, I was done. Oh no. I, they said to flex glutes and hamstrings, really? Oh no. Oh man, okay. Oof, that's rough. Oh man, she's simply beautiful. Yes, she sure is. She absolutely is. Well, you know what? I'll leave all, the, all these comments that you're telling me right now, I'll leave all this in my YouTube. Typically I cut out a lot of the, the last half of the, you know, the, the back and forth <clears throat> banter and things like that when I put it up on YouTube, but I'll leave all this stuff up. Um, so maybe people will listen. <laughs> and that you had to be a brunette to do well. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Did they really say that? Oh no. Oh no, no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Guys, just come see me. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Mm. I'll give you the I'll give you the straight facts, the truth. <laughs> Yep, that happened. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Exactly. Hey guys, both were saying they're all a 10. <laughs> That's funny. Yes, LOL Sean's oh no, no. I know, right? This is gonna be like the new meme, right? Oh no. <laughs> Brunette in red suits. Oh my god. Oh, oh god. I really don't think I can watch the live stream at this point. You guys have you guys have <laughs> warned me too much oh no you know that 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 bothers me too because i literally go and i talk to the judges i went and talked to the judges after the show and asked them for feedback on all of the girls because i wanted to know because i want to be able to relay that to you guys and relay that to my clients so that i know that i'm putting the right packages up on stage you know and oh gosh it just really bothers me when when misinformation gets out like that she sent us back 20 years i know right oh lord well, that's the whole thing. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, Amanda hasn't competed. Gosh, I don't even remember the last time she competed. I want to say it was like 2016 or something like that was the last time that she competed. It's been a long time. Um, and she was phenomenal when she competed. She was phenomenal. But a lot has changed. Even just the last year, a lot has changed. You know, uh, like the posing we were just talking about with Issa having to change her poses. There's a lot more that goes into this than, than a lot of people understand and realize. If you didn't pay attention to the sport, you wouldn't notice that Issa's poses were different between Tampa and now. If you weren't paying attention. I pay attention. I pay attention. Jen's pose is different too. Jen's poses from, from Nashville to now is different. I mean, we were talking about that. She, you know, I actually like her pose better now. So it was the right call, but that was literally three weeks ago, something like that, four weeks ago, something like that. She had, you just had to look cute. Was that re a requirement in her time? She, oh, she said you just had to look cute. Yeah, I mean, back in the back in the day, bikini was very different. Bikini was very like glutes and abs, and that was it. And you just had to be cute and bubbly. And her posing routine was really flamboyant. It would never fly on the pro stage today. Not in a million years would her routine fly. Um, it's just real. The, the division has evolved. The division has evolved. It's just different now. They gotta up. They gotta. They gotta update their. They gotta update their their standards. Arnold, if you're listening, <laughs> just saying, oh, and I quote, bikini is Victoria's secret model with muscles. Oh, guys, you're hurting my heart right now. You are hurting my heart right now. Oh, I felt they were under, under talking bikini athletes. Oh gosh. I, oh my gosh. I'm literally getting upset right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ah, oh. someone tag Arnold. Is he on Instagram? He is. Oh, he is. He's on Instagram. Oh no. Oh, oh. Guys, I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry. Come watch me. I'll set you straight. I'll set you straight. I promise. I'll set you straight. Maybe you should take prices and edit in your corrections to comments, LOL. P oh, pieces, pieces. That's not a bad idea, honestly. Oh my goodness. With all the hours I have free in the day. <laughs> I shouldn't have to correct. I shouldn't have to correct these people. Oh no. <laughs> Look at you tagging Arnold. <laughs> Oh 
no. <laughs> That's an awesome idea. Yeah, I might have to do that. I might have to take some, I might have to take some clips. Not to mention the commentary regarding hair color. Yeah, somebody mentioned that earlier that you have to be brunette, which is completely not true. You do not have to be brunette at all. At all, you don't. Who saw? I was not expecting to go down this road, you guys. Oh, uh, we were getting so we were we were moving so far ahead with the diversity and you know, oh my god. Ah just so you guys know, I've run my pink hair color past judges and asked them if I can wear this on stage, and every single one of them has told me yes. Every single one of them has told me I can wear this on stage. So you do not have to be brunette, okay? Can we just put that out there? You don't have to be brunette. Oh, lordy. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a tea time kind of freaking BSPN, man. Oh, gosh. I noticed Issa's suit bottoms were sitting differently too. Did you notice that as well? Um, honestly, I didn't pay attention to the suit bottoms. I think her suit bottoms were sitting the same. If I remember correctly, it's just her pose was different. I could be wrong on that. I honestly didn't pay attention. Um, let me see. I don't think they're sitting different. I think she, I think she just looks, her pose is just different. Let me see if I can find her Tampa picture. Let me see. Yeah, it's just her pose is different. She's sideways instead of being forward. That's it. I mean, she's got it up a little bit higher here, but it's really just because of the pose more than anything else. It's like a, it's like sitting like a half an inch lower, not by much. That's it. It's it's mostly the pose, but yeah, it's it's like a half inch lower. At uh, Arnold which I don't think made a huge difference. I think it was more the pose itself that made a difference. Um, let's see. The yeah, that one San Antonio was blonde. There you go, see? Yeah, she was, you're right. The girl that won San Antonio was blonde. They seem slightly lower than usual. They're, yeah, they're about a half inch lower. What improvements do you think Jen should do for the Olympia? I think her legs. I think Jen should just come in the same, like she did at finals. Apparently, Jim's story doesn't have it anymore. Oh, okay. LOL, I'd rock pink hair on stage for the front. Yes, I noticed that too. Why she changed her poses. So we went over why she changed her poses earlier in the in the live feed, judging feedback. Judging feedback. And yeah, her, her suit bottom, I think they just, you know, she was wearing her suit bottoms really close to looking like a, a figure suit too. That goes back to the whole lat flare thing and all that kind of stuff too. So I think they, I think they just tried to make that adjustment. Um again with the pose it's more the pose that i really noticed but you're right the suit the suit connector bottom is just sitting about a half an inch lower and it could be just the way that she put it on i don't know who knows um but it's more the pose than anything else yeah i um i'm a little surprised that they went back to like old school talk with bikini that hurts hurts my heart hurts my heart you guys right here all right oh gosh maybe I'll have to do that this week with my whatever what if, if I get an extra like couple hours I'll go through the, the live feed and pull some snippets and correct it for you guys do like a voiceover or something <laughs> oh goodness all right guys well any other questions any other questions You're welcome. Yeah, like I said, if you guys ever hear stuff like that and it's really outdated information, come tell me. I'll tell you the, I'll tell you what's up. Looks figureish. Right. Yes. When you pull the bottoms up too high, they become figureish and they actually um, 
depending on the way that the girl is put together, can make the glutes flatten out. I'd say this about the suit cuts all the time. Small cuts are not always better. Um, you pull the hip straps up too high and they can actually flatten your glutes out at the top. <clears throat> That'll be nice. Yes, do even Becky C was not happy with some of their commentary. Ugh, God. That's terrible. That's too bad. That's really too bad. They should, I mean, and I know, again, I know that Amanda has a, has a long history with the Arnold. She's done, um, you know, the Arnold Amateur, she's done announcing for them. Um, she's competed on the Arnold stage a half dozen times. But if you're going to be doing commentary for a sport, you got to be up on the current standards. Got to be up on the current standards, basically. I'm t oh, I'm taking the top. You missed my, talking the top. You missed my first part. Oh. Well, yeah, I did miss your first part, but yes, she did. She she did change the top actually a little bit as well. Yeah, I don't see your I don't see your initial comment there about the top. Anyway, yeah, sometimes the comments don't fully come through. I've I've seen that before. You guys will be talking about a specific comment, and I didn't actually it didn't actually come through for me, so I didn't see that part. Um, but yeah, she's actually she's she does need to pull that. No, nah, the way she ha has it now is okay. She used to sit it a lot lower on her upper on her upper top on her strap. Thank you as always. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, now I've got homework to do to go watch this freaking live feed. <laughs> yeah, and the men were clueless. One said something about how it was easy to diet for bikini. Yeah, okay. And you, your commentary you did great at the DC show. Thank you. Pour, pour a glass of wine and watch. LOL, right? Hey, I got more carbs for tonight. Maybe I'll go pull up the live, the live commentary. Oh, oh God. <laughs> You ladies go petition for me. I'll do it 100%. 100%. <laughs> and on that note, that's why you got to come to Cuties Conquering the Stage. Because when you come to Cuties Conquering the Stage, you get to meet with the current top competitors and coaches in our industry who do pay attention to this kind of thing. Because if you don't get with people like that, you can be led down a line like apparently the Arnold webcast was leading you down. You don't want that. That's outdated information. Cuties conquering the stage. Guess who's coming? Jen Dory, who just won this. Jasmine Gonzalez, who was in this as well. Brina Martinez, who was in this as well. I'm just saying, get with people who understand what's going on right now. And that's my sales pitch right there. And why it's so important to get around people that understand the trends of the sport. Ta-da! <laughs> Sean, right? I love that. I love that hashtag. I love it. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, nothing drives me more crazy than that kind of thing, you guys. Oh my goodness. I just need a glass of wine in general. I don't need to watch the live stream. Goodness.